Good morning. Thank you so much for coming to this practice of super stretch. Um, just take the opportunity to set yourself and set your space available. And um, let's just settle in with some tall breathing. So I know it can be the hardest part, I believe, about the practice of yoga is truly just settling into your breath and quieting your mind. The physical parts are challenging. Um, potentially or awkward or um, maybe it's just something you just don't feel comfortable with in some ways but finding that pattern through your breath can help to soften all of those movements so always start with your breathing always start with a sense of just ease and when you're finding yourself getting distracted settle quiet your mind first by taking a deeper breath but releasing it and just take a couple of moments and a couple of breaths so um, let's get going. Let's start with our feet parallel. Bring your shoulders up, back, and around. And just kind of notice what you notice about yourself. Notice how your body come and rises out of the ground. Breathe into the rib cage. Let the body <clears throat> release the breath naturally through gravity. Notice how your knees feel, your hips. Are you clenching? Does one leg feel more stiff than the other? About your shoulders? Are your shoulders settled back? Do you feel like your head is still forward? Can you lengthen and come out of the floor of your pelvis through your sternum? How's the crown of your head? If you had an imaginary ponytail or a real ponytail, could you pull and lengthen the back of your neck up slightly? One more nice long deep breath and then exhale let's begin with nice extension through the arms and then exhale down let's do it three more times circle inhale up and exhale down and again inhale up any tension any pressure and pain that's uncomfortable try to do less you can take your arms up and then together or up even just a little bit and then draw down in and together it's just to start getting some length some space some awareness one more time inhale take those arms up and exhale through let's start from here we're going to take those arms straight up overhead you're going to take your right arm back behind you inhale come back up Exhale through the center. Do the same thing to the left side. Inhale, reach up. Take your left arm back behind you. Try to keep your hips forward. Inhale up and exhale through. Let's do the same thing. Each side, reach up. Exhale, press. Inhale up. Exhale through. And again, reach. Exhale, press. Inhale up, exhale through one more time on each side. Reach up, exhale, press, reach up, and through. Last time, reach and lengthen. Exhale, press, open, exhale through. Good, take your arms down by your side and up, back, and around. Not just up and around, but think of pulling those shoulder blades together. Can you touch them? Can you pull the shoulder blades apart? Notice the back of my hands coming towards each other. Roll open. Turn in. Roll open. Roll in. Roll open. And in one more time. Roll open and pause let's just bring your arms in and out in and out good nice and tall lift that chest if it's comfortable lift the chin for some length and space two more open the chest last one open the chest and then we're just going to come forward And then 
let's just swing the arms. And then cross the arms. One goes on top, the other, and the other one goes on top. Two more. Last one, each side. Good, let's take those arms out. So your right palm is up, your left palm is gonna go down. From here, you're just gonna roll the other side and roll and roll. And then you can reach if you want. You can get a little side waist. Reach and reach, reach and reach. You can look forward while you do this. You can look down. Remember where the head goes, the body will follow. So making sure you have good access to all motions. Good, one more. You might feel some little bit of crunching or clicking in there. It's okay. Good, let's pause here. Bring your palms to center. Big deep breath, exhale. And again, reach up and then exhale down. Take your arms back up over your head, reach up. Interlace your fingers, press to the sky and just hold. Get long. Breathe, pull those arms up, try to get your elbows straight. Try not to crunch into the neck. Take your hands behind your head, thumbs pointing down underneath the skull and lift that chest up. Get long, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Think of the tailbone might wanna be pulling up now. Can you tuck slightly? Not to round the lower back, but to just find some length and you can tuck and tilt. A little threading, a little flossing of that nerve. Chin towards your sternum. Elbows pull back. Inhale, chin up. Lengthen, open the front of the body. There's not back bending so much, but just lifting the upper back. And then inhale. Exhale, just like we did in the beginning, just rotate. Try to keep your hips forward, left elbow back, right elbow open. You should be able to maybe see your right elbow in your eye line. Inhale, center slowly. Exhale to your left. Again, open those elbows. Try to keep your hips as much as you can centered. and then inhale center. So we're going to a rotation, a rotate and then tilt slightly. This is not a movement you move into pain in, so you might have pull or pressure, but no pain. So be careful on this. It's not that it is a difficult move, it's just that there's no reason to just slam into pain. So again, lengthen through the neck, rotate, and then a slight tilt backward. Inhale, center, body nice and long. Rotate to your left, and a slight tilt backwards. Again, we'll do it to each side two more times. Tilt back, and up. Exhale, keep those hips forward, back, and up. One more time. <clears throat> tilt back, and center. And last time, tilt back and center. Good. Lift that chest, turn your palms back up from where we started, reach. Let's take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, pull those shoulders down. Lift the chin if it's comfortable. Drop the chin. Lift the chin. Drop the chin. All these movements are something you can do seated, seated in a chair, seated in the ground, toes tucked under, simple sitting position, one more time, chin up. So don't think that just because you're standing you can't do this in any other position. Look to your left, keep pulling down, look to your right, and to your left, 
even with your eyes, look to your right. Think about how far around can you look with those eyes. Move the muscle inside the head. Two more times, to your right. Your arms might be getting tingly. Pull those shoulder blades back to your right. One more time, each side. Breathing more so that that left shoulder doesn't want to come with you. Breathing and then gently. When you let go of your hands, don't shake them out. Just let them fill. You may feel floaty on your sides <clears throat> as they fill back with blood. Big deep breath. Good. Now let's come back to center. Just kind of notice where we're standing again. When we affect change to the body, the body should respond to that by bringing more ease into the system, not more tightness. You may notice some things turn to, oh, I noticed more my legs, or I noticed more my back, or whatever the situation may be, or noticed being feeling off balance, whatever that is. Can you go back to those situations, remember how you felt, and apply where you're at now? So just standing nice and tall. You can close your eyes if it's comfortable. Just take note. Do your feet feel as even, or maybe they feel a little differently placed on the ground? Maybe they feel the same. Knees and hips. And how are you standing? Is it easier if you just rise out of the base of your feet? Now we only work the upper body, remember that. How about just your breathing? Can you deepen through the rib cage a little bit wider? Upper back and shoulders. Now for sure, upper back and shoulders feel a lot more open, a lot more aware. And so remember, when you do something that affects that change, especially to the upper body, you're gonna breathe better, your head's gonna feel more stable on its, at its nest, and then the rest of the body can react from that as well. Let's go with those four more breaths. Inhale, take your arms up and over. Exhale and through. Circle up and over. Exhale through. Two more times. And through. All right, let's come to the top of the mat, wherever that is for you. Breathing. Take your arms up and over, going to a half. Sun salute, push your hips back. Make sure that movement goes back first, then the hands follow. Head down, chin in. You might feel some space and your length in the back. Bring the head and heart up. So you're finding space now horizontally. You're pulling those shoulder blades back. You're lifting your tailbone. You may feel some length in your hamstrings. Big deep breath, exhale, pull yourself forward and down. Inhale, look forward, and let's go right into a single leg lunge. <coughs> Step back, my left leg is back, chest is up. Watch that I'm not just bearing weight into my right leg. Pull, think of from the heel to the crown of the head, all the way to the wall in front of you. Remember, when we hold positions, our body can soften a little bit more. As soon as we get into it, our body's trying to adjust, figure out where we're at. And then it takes several moments for our body to go, okay, I'm good. Now, can you even get more length from the crown of the head? Don't push into your heel. Think of forward. And then let's drop with that extension, with that length, the back knee. Can you lift the chest up just a smidge? Pull that right hip back slightly, and then let's come up just a little bit. Take both arms high overhead, reach. Pull the left hip forward, pull the right hip back. Exhale, circle around, taking your left hand down from your belly button to the sky, not the arm so much. Pull everything up away from the ground. As you can, push into your back foot. Lift your back knee as it's comfortable without pushing into the heel of your back leg. Circle your right arm around 
you're back into that low lunge. Step your left foot underneath you, you're back into half lift. Sweep your arms up. Exhale and through. Let's do it again. Circle with those arms up. Push your hips back. So I'm going pretty slow motion. Arms, notice I'm halfway. Arms haven't even dropped to the floor yet. Then bring my hands to the floor. Exhale and fold. Inhale. Half lift, not just my head, my chest. Really working those postural muscles. Exhale and fold. Right leg steps back this time. You're in that lunge. Again, you may need to take a moment to adjust. Move those hips just a little bit. Maybe move the front foot forward a little bit. Can you pull your heart away from your hips? Can you find some space between your torso and your thigh? Get longer again. And then drop that back knee. Getting some length, you might feel this inner thigh, top of thigh. Leaving the right hand down, roll. Take your left arm up. As it's comfortable, lift that right knee. And then take that right hand around. Let's come all the way up. Reach from your right leg through. Circle both arms around. Breathe and lift that back knee up. And then step your right foot in. Exhale and fold and down chin. Coming up onto the ball of the feet. Let's drop back into the hips. <clears throat> Head down. Nice and tall coming out of the hips. Look up and down. Now, as you look down, it's not a hanging down. So it's not about flexion of the spine as it is about just nodding the head. Remember, ideally, chin to your sternum, base of the skull to the top of the shoulders. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. Take your hands behind you. Open up those fingers as best you can. Lift your chest up, feel that beautiful stretch in your biceps. Pull into your triceps and just breathe. Keep your knees from splitting as you can if you need to open your feet. Press and lift that chest up. Watch that you're not sinking. Really open. Roll from the heel of your hand, bringing your hands to your knees, taking your right hand back. Let's just rotate. Watch the left knee doesn't join. Rotate, look over the right shoulder. Exhale a little bit deeper. Keep long, but open. Work with the breath. Inhale, look center. Come back to center. Let's go to the left side. Taking your left hand back, right hand to your knee. Rotate your leg. It's really a nice assistant here. Keep that chest tall. If you want and you feel like this leg is coming out, you can almost put your elbow here and create tension by pushing your knee into your elbow. Rotate. Just create a little bit more context for your hip. And 
inhale and center. All right, back to center. Take your hands, shift your hips forward. Let's come down to our forearms and then down all the way to the ground. Knees point basically straight to the ceiling, shins are vertical, elbows are onto the ground, shoulders back, fingertips towards the sky. Let's drop the ribs, the pelvis may tilt <clears throat> or tuck, and I want you to try to level the pelvis without letting the rib cage come up. And it may take a little bit of tuck and tilting before you find a level that works for you. Elbows into the ground, now we're lifting the lower half of the torso primarily as one unit here. So don't come up with an arch where your tailbone's below your rib cage or so much tuck that you've tucked into or, or rolled your spine up. Pull your forearms down, press into the back of your arms, press into your feet, don't over clench the glutes and just lift straight up. So that way your belly's not just coming up, it's a your hips are more straight in line with your rib cage. Now, I like to bring my shoulders a little bit further underneath me for a little bit more stability, but I want you to use the back of your arms to hold you up. Equal amounts with your feet. Now, you can do this down, but the shoulders tend to roll here. So if you have your forearms up, you can really use the back of those arms. So you have more lever length. So back extension, lower back. Watch that you're not over pushing through the hips. And then release the shoulders and roll or lower the spine back in. Let's take those arms out. Notice not out to a T. Shrugs the shoulders a little bit too much in this position, but down sl just slightly angled below the shoulders. Bring your right knee up, left knee up, and just hold, and I want you to tilt your tailbone, drop your tailbone down, and tuck your tailbone. Tuck and tilt. Just feel that nice rocking of the pelvis. A little tactile response. Nothing else is really happening. Shins can be down, or you can keep your shins parallel. Great work for the quads without over-firing them. Two more. And last one, just hold. Bring your hands together. Pull your shoulders towards your hips. Breathing, and let's just do a nice, easy, slow, dead bug, reach out and hold. If you want to create, again, some tension, you can place your left hand on the inside of your right knee. Notice my right hand isn't on the ground and my left foot isn't low in line with my hips so much, but a slight angle. <clears throat> Bring everything back to center. Exhale, and then inhale. Let's go right hand, left knee. Oop, we just did that. Let's go left hand, right knee. Reach out, and again, you can place your right hand against your left knee. And then bring yourself back together. Let's drop both feet to the ground. Arms down wide at the ankle. Tuck and tilt. And we're gonna do that one more time, just adding on. Good, bring your elbows in. Let's do that bridge again. Press down, lift those hips up, move the neck. Pull the shoulder blades in as it's comfortable. And now maybe just you can feel a little easier. We've controlled through the core, through the pelvis. And then gently, slowly release, extend both arms. Take your right knee and left knee up again. Bring your hands in line with that bird dog or dead bug position. Let's go out right, hold. Back to center, out left, hold.
Watch that leg that it doesn't hang because it pulls against the lower back, pulling the psoas down. And then back to center. Once again, right arm overhead, left leg out. If you want to create that tension. Back to center, left arm overhead, right leg out. Tension. Back to center, I'm gonna add on to this right now. So right arm goes overhead, create the tension and lift up, hold. And then back to center, lower your head, reach out, tension and lift up. You can add your hand here if you need to. And then lower down. Bring your right foot down, left foot down, arms out, and let's drop those knees left and right. So this simple movement is such a nice rotation for the spine, as well as for that deep inguinal joint. You get a little bit of movement through the thoracic cavity. And then back to center, hold. Let's go left knee over, my left ankle over right knee, and then just tilt the tailbone down. You should be getting immediately a stretch into your left glute, left hip. So remember that tilting is lengthening, the tucking. So when you tuck or let the pelvis come a little bit more neutral, you really aren't going to feel the stretch. So sometimes it's like, I don't want a lot of stretch. I just want to notice where I know what I notice. And so if you tilt without overarching, keep those rib cage down, you can really feel that stretch just by a simple action of your own movement without adding a lot of extra force. Left hand, start at the left hip inside, press away, and then kind of go up and out towards the outside of that left knee. Still in a slight tilt, Rib cage down, breathe. Release what you need to release. Let go of what you need to not hold on to. Try to keep a little bit more pressure on that left leg. Deep breath and let go. Good. Let's hold the right ankle, press into the left knee, and then take the left leg across. Now, readjust the shoulders if you need to. Pull that left foot up towards the right hip. Big breath. And let's again see if you can tilt the pelvis slightly. If you can lock that left leg in and press into that left leg with the right hand. Interestingly enough, muscles in the lower leg don't do any kind of rolling or spiraling naturally on their own. They're much more linear. They're much more straight up and down. A lot of times with tension, we feel a rolling. We feel like a diagonal pull or something like that. But in reality, most of the muscles are moving straight up and down. So we might feel the tension on one side and on another. And that's a good sign that, or that you know, you're really finding that space of where tension might be being held. So unlace the left foot and let's come back to center. Just take the left knee out. So I've got my right knee up, my left leg out. Bring the left knee up and round and extend out. Slide my left knee up and round and out. Slide my left knee up and round and again. Up and around last time. Straight leg, bend my knee kind of like to a four and then bring my left knee up. Let's go in with the right leg. Bring the right knee up, foot up and out, breathing. 
you can kind of feel that tuck and tilt here as well. <clears throat> Sometimes it feels more, more significant on one side over the other. Let's just hold and find that and that find that length. Watch the rib cage. Notice, being aware, connecting. These words are help us to not just do a movement, but be aware, be be connected, be intentional in a movement. All right, let's take that right hand then down deep inside that right thigh, press up and away on that right side. Now I am creating some context with my left knee, pressing into my right ankle, but it's not so much that I'm pulling in, I'm just feeling and kind of counter responding to my ankle pressing into my left thigh. Watch the rib cage. Something's got to give. Sometimes it just got to give. And then release. And let's hold the, the right ankle with the left hand. Keep pressing into the right leg. Now I release this left foot, this lower leg, because I don't want to try to push in so much. I want to try to press out on this one. And we've done it different ways, and this is just this variation today. Are you tucking or tilting? Is your rib cage up? Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. And then gently, let's take that right leg over. See if you could anchor that right leg and press into that right thigh. Relax the right shoulder. You would feel this movement here through your belly, out to your rib cage. Breathe into it, make the diaphragm work. Are you tucked or are you tilted? Can you tell? And then gently, let's unlace that right leg. Let's come back up. Pause and drop that right knee out. From this position here, extend the right leg. Breathing and let's roll in and extend the right leg. Then the knee, roll in. Extend the right leg. Two more. And last one. Good. Let's drop both knees down. We'll recline cobbler's pose. You can feel the inguinal joint here. Up inside the pelvis, transverse abdominis here. You can feel the base of the rib wall here. These are great areas to feel if there's tightness, stiffness. You can kind of move that around. Create some, that kind of that, it's kind of a triangular shape or not quite an oct octagon, but something in that kind of neck, neck of the woods. Let's just bring those knees back together, right knee and left knee into the chest. Give a nice little hug. Cross the ankles as you can, reach up and pull apart just a little bit. Release, keep those knees into the chest, take those arms wide and let's take both legs over to your right. Move your upper back as you need. Nice last rotation. Bring both knees back up. Recenter as you need to. 
bring both knees up, take both knees to your left, move your left shoulder out from underneath you, breathe. in. Let's try that glute bridge one more time. Elbows to your sides, feet are down, and then just lifting those hips up. Move that neck out of the way. See, this just feels a little bit easier, a little bit more comfortable. Press down. See if you can be, be even with your feet and your hands or forearms. And then let's just release. Extending as it's comfortable, right leg and left. Adjust myself just slightly. Arms down. So we started out vertical, noticing our body. Can you kind of create context to that same thing, horizontal? Do your feet feel even and weighted evenly? Or does it feel still like one leg is maybe a little longer, maybe a little fuller? Maybe there's some work you need to do with hydration or just some general motion. Maybe there's some dietary issues or stress issues you need to address. Are you moving out of reaction or are you moving out of intention? Take a nice long deep breath. Notice when you deep breathe deeper into your belly, your, your jaw drops a little bit, can relax in the back of your neck, down into your ribs. And let's slide those feet in. Shifting yourself back, rolling to one side, holding yourself for a moment and gently pressing yourself up. Let's finish with some nice, easy breathing. Find a comfortable sitting position, grab a roller, a block, something to sit on. Get long through the crown of the head, just like we did at the beginning. Drop the chin towards the sternum. That feels nice. <laughs> and center, take your right hand behind. <coughs> Inhale and take your left hand behind, not pulling. And then inhale. Take your hands underneath your knees. Give yourself a little bit of a rounding. Open, unfurl. Take your arms up and then down. Arms up and down one more time. Arms up and down. And be well. Have a great day, you guys.